Without a plan, revision can be stressful and lead to poor exam results. In this podcast, I guide students through one part of such a plan, study resources. First, we cover the theory for each topic, and then I suggest questions to practice acquired skills. Join me in making your exam experience a success story. Okay, so let's have a look at shapes. A face of a 3D shape is a flat surface on the shape. An edge is where two faces meet. A vertex is where two or more edges meet. A cube and a cuboid both have six faces, 12 edges and eight vertices, with a distinguishing property between them being that all edges of a cube are of the same length, unlike in a cuboid. A cylinder has three faces, which are the two base circles and the curved area, two edges, which are the arcs of the two base circles, and no vertices, since the two edges don't meet. A square base pyramid has five faces, which are the four triangles and the base square, eight edges and five vertices. A cone has two faces, which are the base circle and the curved area one edge, which is the arc of the base circle, and one vertex, which is the point at the top of the cone. A sphere has one face, which is the surface of it, no edges and no vertices. So let's see an example of a problem for this theory. Explain why cylinder has two edges, but no vertices. If you aren't sure about how to solve this problem, you can visit the page of this topic, which is in the show notes. Do you know anyone who could benefit from listening to this episode? Share it with them. That's how we can support more students in preparing for their exams. Also, if you like listening to this podcast, it would be awesome if you left a 5-star rating or a review. So let's learn more about Pythagoras' theorem. The hypotenuse of a right-angled triangle is the side which is opposite the right angle. Pythagoras' theorem states that in a right-angled triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other sides. This theorem can be used to find missing sides in right-angled triangles, as well as to check whether triangles are right-angled. The hypotenuse of a right-angled triangle is always the longest side. It is also known that the shortest distance between a point and a line is the perpendicular distance between them. The question that relates to this theory is, Lola draws a triangle with a hypotenuse of root of 18 centimeters. Given that the other two sides of the triangle are equal, calculate the length of these sides. If you want to see the answer and the solution for this question, use the link in the show notes of this episode. Many students revise for exams without a plan. This can result in sporadic learning, poor exam results, and worse career opportunities. However, you can avoid that. Generate your personal exam revision plan on studysquare.co.uk forward slash plan. So let's learn more about arcs and sectors. The radius of a circle is a line segment starting from the center of the circle and ending at the circumference of it. The diameter of a circle is the line segment going from one side of the circle to another, passing through the center. The diameter has length equal to double the radius of a circle. The area of a circle can be calculated using a equals pi r squared, where r is the radius of the circle. The circumference of a circle can be calculated using c equals 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the circle. This is equivalent to c equals pi d, where d is the diameter of the circle. An arc length can be calculated by multiplying the circumference of the circle by theta over 360 degrees, where theta is the angle that the sector covers. Similarly, the area of a sector can be calculated by multiplying the area of the circle by theta over 360 degrees. So let's see an example of a problem for this theory. Calculate the area of a circle with a radius of 6 centimeters rounded to centimeters squared. If you are unsure about how to solve this problem, you can visit the page of this topic, which is in the show notes. Did you know that we have other podcasts for maths and science? If you are interested to learn more, search for Revision with Jonas on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Now let's go through some theory about area. Areas of 2D shapes can be calculated by the following formulas. The area of a triangle can be calculated by multiplying its height by its base and dividing by 2. 
the area of a parallelogram can be calculated by multiplying its vertical height by its base. The area of a trapezium can be calculated by taking the average of the two parallel sides and multiplying it by vertical height. The surface area of 3D shapes can also be calculated. The surface area of a sphere can be calculated by 4 pi r squared. The surface area of a cylinder can be calculated by adding the two base areas to the area of the rectangle that is formed when the cylinder is unraveled. The rectangle's dimensions are the height of the cylinder and the circumference of the base circle. The surface area of a cone can be calculated by adding the area of the base circle to the area of the sector that is formed when the cone is unraveled. This is given by pi r squared plus pi r l, where l is the slant height of the cone and h is the vertical height. For other composite shapes, such as pyramids, the surface area can be calculated by adding the areas of all the faces of the shapes. Okay, so let's have a look at a question from this topic. What is the area of a trapezium with bases of lengths 3 cm and 7 cm and the vertical height of 10 cm? Now, if you want to access the solution and the answer for this question, use the link in the show notes. Now let's go through some theory about volume. The volume of a cuboid can be calculated by multiplying the base, height, and weight of the shape together. The volume of a cylinder can be calculated using pi r squared h, where r is the radius and h is the vertical height. The volume of a sphere can be calculated using 4 pi r cubed over 3, where r is the radius. The volume of a pyramid can be calculated using L W H over 3, where L is the length of the base rectangle, W is its width, and H is the vertical height. The volume of a cone can be calculated using pi r squared H over 3, where r is the radius and H is the vertical height. The question that relates to this theory is, Lila's and Dora's wedding cake is shaped as two cylinders stacked on top of each other. Use the given diagram to calculate the volume of the cake rounded to hundreds. Now, if you want to access the solution and the answer to this question, use the link in the show notes. Now that we have covered the theory, it is time to practice solving related problems. So head to studysquare.co.uk forward slash resources and try answering questions on this topic. I hope you have a great week ahead and until next time.